Hello. Today I will be discussing about the monetary policy effectiveness and the slope of the LM curve. Okay. So uh, related uh, videos, related lectures you can find in the description box. So today I am going to introduce the monetary policy effectiveness and the slope of the LM curve. Okay. Now, now, here, look, three figures are there. This is panel A. This is panel A figure, panel A. This is panel A. This is panel B. And this is panel C. Okay. Three figures are there. One is panel A, panel B, and panel C. Now, now, look at the first figure, that is the panel A. Along the vertical axis, we measure the rate of interest in, in all the three diagrams, and along the horizontal axis, we measure the real income or real output okay real output now the there are there are there are three types of lm curve one is flat lm curve in panel a we discuss about the flat lm curve and in panel b there is steep lm curve okay and in panel C, there is vertical LM curve. So, so depending on the slope of the LM curve, we try to explain the monetary policy effectiveness. Monetary policy effectiveness. Okay, we try to try to uh, try to spread some light on the effectiveness of the monetary policy. So. This is the initial LM0 curve. This is the initial equilibrium, and this is the initial LM0 curve, and this is the IS curve, initial IS curve. That is the new equilibrium. Suppose this, is, this represents the initial equilibrium E0, okay? Initial equilibrium E0. And now, if there is an increase in money supply, then the, the LM curve will shift rightward and as a result, it will be LM1. It will be LM1, okay? It will be LM1. So now the rate of interest has fallen from R0 to R1 and income increases from y0 to y1 look the amount of income that could increase is this much okay this much and it is the amount del m del m by del m by c1 C1 is nothing but the sensi sensitivity of money demand to income. It is the sensitivity of money demand to income C1. So this is the total amount of income that could increase as a result of increase in money supply. Okay. So, but, but what happens? But what happens? Income increases just this much. Income increases that this much amount income is increased because of the slope of the LM curve. Here, the LM curve is interest elastic. Here, LM curve is interest elastic. If LM curve is interest elastic, that is the money demand is interest elastic, 
when there is a fall in interest rate then there is a there is a increase in the speculative demand for money okay speculative demand for money and less is in the transaction demand for money so 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 if the lm curve is is if the lm curve is more sensitive to the interest rate to the interest rate then income will increase just y just the difference y1 minus y0 okay this much amount of income will increase and here here rate of interest falls and increase in income increase in income restore the equilibrium point this equilibrium point okay restore this equilibrium point where the money demand is equal with the money supply money demand is equal with the money supply okay now now if look at the panel b figure where where the lm curve lm curve the demand for money is less interest elastic it is demand for money is less sensitive to the interest rate is the less sensitive okay so here what happens the rate of interest as there is an increase in the money supply the lm curve will shift to lm1 from lm0 okay it will it will shift to lm1 and as a result of this income will increase from y0 to y1 and and rate of interest falls from r0 to r1 and and this amount this amount that is the del m this distance represent the amount del m by c1 this much amount of income could be increased as a result of the increase in money supply as a result of the increase in money supply but here income increases y0 to y1 the reason is the same okay what i have mm, said in panel mm, in panel a in panel a so there is a decrease in the rate of interest as a result of investment increases as a result of as a result of decrease in interest rate investment will increase and income will increase okay now now panel now panel c now panel c here the lm curve is vertical lm curve okay lm curve is vertical uh, and what does it mean it means that the demand for money is completely inelastic to the rate of interest completely inelastic demand for money is not sensitive to the rate of interest so here demand here demand for money speculative demand for money does not have a does not have a role to restore this this point to restore this equilibrium point okay to restore this equilibrium point now so if there if if the if the money demand is not sensitive to the to the rate of interest then then increase in money supply is wholly utilized for in the transaction purposes for the transaction purposes okay for the transaction purposes the whole money supply will be used as the money supply increases then rate of interest will fall rate of interest will fall and as the rate of interest falls investment will increase investment will increase and as a result income will increase from y0 to y1 okay income will increase from y0 to y1 now 
it should be mentioned one thing here is that the rise in uh, uh, none of the new none of the new money money is siphoned off okay is siphoned off as the increase in speculative demand as the interest rate falls here in panel c new money no none of the new money is siphoned off okay none of the none of the new money is siphoned off as an increase in the speculative demand as the interest rate falls okay so what we have learned from here is that the effectiveness of monetary policy effectiveness of monetary policy depends on the slope of the lm curve depends on the slope of the lm curve if the lm curve is steeper is steeper then or it is a part it is a it is a line parallel to the vertical axis or in one sense we can say the if the demand for money is completely completely not sensitive is completely not sensitive to the interest rate then then the monetary policy the effectiveness of monetary policy is much more is much more okay so i hope you um, you have underst understood the um, effectiveness of monetary policy and the slope of the lm curve thank you thank you for enjoying my lecture